today we're going to talk about business rules, specifically about how to use the recommendation action of business rules. Now I've got a really interesting use case here, it could be on our opportunity table. So I'm in my demo environment here for opportunities and I like the fact that we have probability and rating and right now our users have to enter both of these data points um, and it's up to them what to assign the values. So what I'd like to do is prompt a recommendation that when a user enters a probability value within certain thresholds, I want to suggest that they update the rating. So that's what we're going to configure for our users. So we're going to come to make.powerapps.com and we are in a solution file. We have already added the table or the entity to my solution file. And this is the new business rule that I've created. So let's take a look at what that looks like. The first thing we need is a condition. So this is what is going to trigger our business rule to run. We have set this scope to all forms, which means it will run on the client side. So when my user opens the opportunity form, this business rule will fire automatically as soon as that condition is met. So my condition here, I want it to check that the probability is greater than or equal to 50. And then I've added a second rule here because I also want to ensure the probability is less than 70. So again, that first condition is probability is greater than or equal to 50 and also less than 70. I dragged over the recommendation action here, which you can use on the components tab or quick add. And as soon as you do that, you have to fill out a couple pieces of information. So name the recommendation. That's just for you, the system administrator, to manage this in the future. The users won't see that. What they will see is your recommendation title and the details. So type in what you want those to be, click apply. And then we're gonna go into the details area and this is your action or actions. You can add more if you want, um, but here's our action. We named it set rating to warm. Again, users won't see this. This is just for you. Select your field, what you want the type to be, to value, set it a value, set it as a field or clear your value. Um, and then for this one, we selected warm. So my nested conditional, I pulled in a second condition here and I wanna check if probability is greater than or equal to 70. So if probability is greater than or equal to 70, I dragged over a separate recommendation action here. I wanna set rating to hot. And again, recommendation name, just for you. What's important is your recommendation title and the details, that's what your user will see. Then what is the action? If they decide they wanna take action, what do we wanna do? Well, for this one, we want the rating to be hot. So once you've built this out on your business rule canvas, you're gonna activate the form. All right, so here we are. We're back in Dynamics 365. Here's one of the opportunities, and you can see next to probability, my users have this new icon. So if they click on this, this is where they can see that recommendation. So probability on this one is 52. So it's letting my users know when probability is between 50 to 69, we recommend say, setting your rating to warm. So this is a nice soft suggestion that the users can override, which is a really nice option. However, if I am a sales rep and I see this and I decide, well, yeah, that sounds good to me. I simply click this apply button and instantaneously that rating was updated to warm. So I can continue doing this. So let's get this rating above where we were um, and then it can it updates my recommendation. So now when probability is 70 plus percent, set your rating to hot, click apply and it immediately updates that. So this is how to apply a recommendation action to a form in Dynamics 365 using a very simple business rule and drag and drop technology. If you have any questions, email me at Heidi at or add a comment to the video below. Thanks.